In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a trigger order on the MEXC futures market. If you're still relatively new to trading futures on MEXC, I do have a step-by-step -step beginner tutorial and I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. This video is not financial advice and is for educational purposes only. If you end up getting some value out of it, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Let's get into the video. A trigger order is going to allow you to choose a price point that triggers a limit order or triggers a market order to go long or short. So the first thing we need to do is choose a price point that we wish to set our trigger at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to my time frames. I'm going to switch us over to the daily chart here. So now we're viewing Bitcoin versus Tether on the daily chart. The next thing I'll do for the purposes of demonstration is I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple trend lines here from my drawing tools. And I'm going to go ahead and put a trend line on the chart like so. Maybe something like that. And we'll grab another trend line here. We'll go ahead and just anchor it right off the bottom of that price action there. We'll drag it along like this. And I'll just tighten that up a little bit more. Maybe something like that. Good enough for this demonstration. So now we can see Bitcoin appears to be in a falling wedge. And this can be a bullish continuation pattern in the context of an uptrend. And if we look left on the chart, we can see that Bitcoin has been in a midterm uptrend lately. We see a higher high in price action right here as opposed to this pivot point in the market here before this little dump to the downside. We see that Bitcoin gave us a higher low in this area right here, as opposed to all this accumulation back in this area here. And we see recently that Bitcoin stuck in a higher high right here, as opposed to back here, and now seems to be consolidating in a falling wedge pattern. So perhaps Bitcoin is setting up to make a move to the upside. And maybe we want to use a trigger order to attempt to catch a breakout of this falling wedge. Now the next thing I'll do is I'll grab a horizontal from the drawing tools and let's go ahead and mark a price point that we want to use as our trigger for this particular trade idea. Maybe we want to use this wick right here that's just poking up above the falling wedge. So maybe something like this. Now we can see a price point correlating to that wick on the Y axis of the chart coming in at 28,471. And maybe that's where we want to place our trigger. So let's come over here to the order panel. We'll come to this little tiny arrow next to trailing stop. We'll click right here where it says trigger. And in this box here, we'll type that price point in. We'll go 28,471. Next, we need to choose a price that we want to place an order at to go long if our trigger condition gets hit. So let's come back over here to the chart. And let's just imagine that we want to set our limit order down here on these candle bodies. So what I'll do is I'll mark those candle bodies out with another horizontal so we can get a visual on this, maybe something like this. Now, when we look on the Y axis of the chart, we can see a price point coming in at 28,080. And maybe we want to have a limit order placed at that level if our trigger gets hit at 28,471. So what we'll do is we'll come back over here to price and we'll type that in. We'll go 28,000. And 80. Now we need to choose our position size. And of course, we can type in a custom amount here, or we can just use this slider bar. For the purposes of demonstration, I'll just do an order value of 25 tether. Once you have this set up the way that you want it, you'd come down here and click on open long. Now that trigger order has been successfully submitted. If Bitcoin manages to break above the falling wedge and hit our trigger price right up here, a limit order to go long will be placed on the order book at 28,080. So for this trade idea to work, we would need price action to break above the wedge, trigger our order, and then pull back to this horizontal here to fill our long position. And then we'd be looking for the breakout to the upside. So we'd be looking for an SR flip where the former resistance becomes future support. Now, if price action was just to simply blast right through here, yes, it'll hit our trigger price, but our order will be placed down here and it won't fill because price action will have just melted right through there to the upside. So we would need the back test of this level here to fill our order and catch the move to the upside. We can also set a trigger order up to execute as a market order. For example, in this particular situation, if Bitcoin was to break this falling wedge to the upside and hit our trigger condition up here, we can set this up to simply execute a market order. So to get us into the long position at the best available price from the order book, if our trigger condition gets hit. That way, if price action was to just simply melt straight through here, we'll be filled into a long position and catching the move to the upside instead of waiting for the pullback back down here to fill our limit order. And I'll quickly demonstrate how to do this. 
First of all, I'll have to cancel this existing trigger order and to cancel it, just come over here and click on this X inside this box, just like so. And as you can see, I easily canceled that trigger order. Now let's go ahead and set up a trigger market order and we'll use the same price point of this horizontal right here. So what we'll do is we'll come back over here to the order panel and we'll type the price point of that horizontal into trigger price. We'll go 28,471. Now what we'll do is we'll click right here where it says market. And as you can see, we've configured this into a trigger market order. If our trigger condition gets hit, the order will fill at the best available price from the order book. So now we just simply need to choose the quantity and I'll just go ahead and do 25 tether again. Then we'd come down here and click on open long. Now we've placed that trigger market order. If the price of Bitcoin was to break out of this falling wedge and hit our trigger condition right here, the order will fill immediately at the best available price from the order book. And in this particular situation, we'd be looking for immediate continuation to the upside. If price action was to come up, fill our order and then roll over, obviously that's going to put us at a loss. Now let's have a little bit of fun and add another layer to this trigger order. Now that we have our trigger order set to go long, if this pattern breaks bullish to the upside, let's go ahead and set a trigger order to go short in case this pattern fails and breaks to the downside. So what I'll do is I'll grab a horizontal here from the drawing tools and I'm gonna go ahead and mark an area just below these wicks, maybe something like this. Now we can see a price point on the Y axis of the chart correlated to that horizontal coming in at 25,619. So let's come back over here to our order panel and let's go ahead and type that price point in here. So we'll go 25,619. And for quantity, I'll do the same quantity to the downside. So we'll go 25 tether. Now what we'll do is we'll come down here and we'll click on open short. Now we've set a trigger order to go short at the bottom of this pattern. So if this pattern was to fail and price action was to waterfall to the downside, we'll be filling a short position right here. So now we don't really care which way this pattern breaks out because we have our trigger order to go long up here and we've got our trigger order to go short down here. We have both sides covered. If one of your orders fills and price action goes favorably, just remember to come back and cancel the order that didn't fill. And of course you can do that by just simply clicking on these X's inside these boxes here. So as you can see, trigger orders do allow you to be a little bit more strategic about some of your trade ideas, but there's still risk present. You do need price action to cooperate. For example, if Bitcoin was to break this falling wedge to the upside, of course our trigger order to go long will be filled right here and we'll need immediate continuation to the upside for this to be profitable. If price action was to get up there and fill our order, but reject from there, we'd be put at an immediate loss. If this pattern was to fail and Bitcoin was to break down from here, we'd be filling a short position right here at the best available price off the order book, and we would need immediate continuation to the downside for our short position to be profitable. Of course, if price action was to come down there, fill our position, but bounce, we'd be put at a loss. So certainly a couple considerations when choosing if this order type is going to be appropriate for you. So let's take this one step further. Let's set the same order up, but this time let's add a stop loss in the event that our trade idea was to fail. So what I'll do is I'll quickly cancel these out. I'll just click this little X inside the box like so. Now let's set this up, but this time let's add some stop losses in case this doesn't work out for us. And we'll use the same price points. So for the top side of this pattern, we'll use the 28,471. So we'll come back over here to trigger price and we'll type that in. We'll go 28,471. We'll leave this on market and we'll do the same quantity. I'll do 25 tether, but this time let's come right down here and check this box that says long TPSL. We can even add a take profit if we want to as well. So just for fun, let's imagine that we're targeting 30,000. We'll just type that in right there but let's go ahead and add a stop loss. So let's quickly come back to the chart and let's maybe set up a stop loss somewhere just below this horizontal right here. We can see that horizontal coming in at 28,080 on the Y axis of the chart. So let's come down here to stop loss and let's go ahead and do 28,070. Now what we'll do is we'll click on open long. Now we've placed our trigger order to go long if this pattern breaks out to the upside. If our order fills, 
we'll be adding a stop loss immediately just below this horizontal here. So if price action was to come up, fill our order, but then roll over, we'd be stopped out for a small loss. If price action was to break through there and continue to the upside and hits 30,000, we'll be taking profit. Let's do the same thing to the downside. And we'll use the same horizontal here as our trigger price. So we'll come back over here to the order panel and let's type in 25,619. Once again, I'll just do 25 tether. So the trade quantity is the same on both sides of this pattern. Now we'll come down here and we'll click on this box, short TPSL. Just for fun, let's imagine that we're targeting 24,000. We'll just type that in like so. And for a stop loss, maybe we want to set a stop loss somewhere just above our descending trend line right here. I'll grab another horizontal. Let's just mark out an area just for fun. Maybe something like this. Good enough for this demonstration. Now we can see a price point on the Y axis of the chart coming in at 25,953. And let's just imagine we want to use that price level as our stop loss. We'll come down here to stop loss trigger. We'll type that in. So 25,953. Now we'll click on open short. Now we've set that trigger order to the downside. So if this pattern was to break down and fill our short order right here, Mexi will be adding a take profit down here at 24,000, as well as a stop loss just above this horizontal here. So if price action continued to the downside and hit 24,000, we'd be taking profit. But if price action was to bounce, we'd be stopped out right here for a small loss. So that's how you can set up this order with some stop losses. Just make sure your stop losses aren't too tight. A lot of traders actually lose quite a bit of money by having stop losses that are too tight. Once again, you'll have to do your own technical analysis to decide what price points are going to be appropriate for you. I'll also point out you can find the details of your trigger orders if you come right down here and click on open orders. We can see up top here, this is my sell short right here. My leverage is at 12x. That should not be that high. I don't know what happened there, but usually I trade with much less leverage than that. And right over here, you can see that if this short order fills, the take profit will be added at 24,000 and the stop loss will be added at 25,953. Below that, you'll be able to see your long. So in my case here, you can see my order to go long, which is also at 12x leverage, way too much. And over here, you can see under TPSL that a take profit will be added immediately if this order fails and then my stop loss will be added immediately as well. You can also cancel the orders from here if you just come over here under action and then click on revoke. And as you can see, I just removed both of those trigger orders. And there you have it. That's how you can set up a trigger order on the Mexi futures market. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also, feel free to check out my other Mexi tutorials, which are in a playlist on my YouTube channel. I also have a TradingView step-by-step beginner tutorial, so I'll leave a link for that in the description down below for anyone that might be interested. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.